Hello friends, I am Engineer Nasir. In this video, we will study how to make P trap for condensed drain piping of HU and FCU and how to calculate the height for the P trap. We divide the height for condensed drain P trap into two parts. The height difference between the pipe coming out from the AC unit and the pipe going to the drain piping, we call it H. And the height difference between the pipe going to the drain piping and the bottom of the peer trap, we call it J. I will tell you a thumb rule to make the peer trap for any type of FCU. If you don't know the external static pressure for the FCU and you don't know whether it is draw through type or peer trap, uh, blow through type, no need to know. You can follow this formula. You can take always H equal to 2 inch and J equal to 1 inch. To calculate the condensed drain P trap height for AHU and FCU, we use two formulas. If the AC unit is blow through type, then we use this formula where the height for H we take always equal to 1 inch and the height J we take equal to the AC unit's external static pressure in water gauge and the unit for the height is inch. But if the unit is draw through type, then the height for H is equal to the unit's external static pressure in water gauge plus 1 inch. And the height J will be half of the H. Let us first understand what is blow through and draw through type AC unit. If inside the AC unit we have the fan before the cooling coil then we call it blow through type. But if the cooling coil is before the fan and fan, and fan is directly supplying the cold air outside the AC unit we call it draw through type. You can see this AHU is draw through type because we have the cooling coil before then after it we have the fan that is supplying the cold air outside. This FCU also draw through type because we have coil before then after the coil we have fan that is supplying cold air outside. But you can see in this FCU we have fan before and after fan we have cooling coil. So this FCU is below through type. For draw through type unit, we calculate the P trap height by this formula H equal to 1 inch for each inch water gauge of external static pressure plus 1. If the unit has external static pressure 2 inch water gauge, then the H will be equal to 2 plus 1 equal to 3 inch. And J will be equal to H by 2. If H equal to 3 inch, then J will be equal to 1.5 inch. And the minimum value for J is 1 inch. For blow through type unit, we calculate the P trap height by this formula. We always take H equal to 1 and for J, for each 1 inch water gauge external static pressure, we take J equal to 1 inch. If unit external static pressure is 2 inch water gauge, then J will be equal to 2 inch. To calculate the height for condensed drain P trap for any type of AC unit, we need to know two things. First, AC unit type, whether it is blow through or draw through type. Number two, units external static pressure. The value for external static pressure for the AC unit, either you can find it from the tag on the uh, AC unit or you can find from the selection. You can see this is the selection for one of AC unit and here you can see it is external static pressure for the unit which is here 250 so this 250 divided by 250 equal to 1 inch water gauge if you cannot find any of these data simply you can ask the supplier what is the external static pressure for the unit to make easy to understand let us make a simple calculation assume we have an HU having external static pressure equal to 500 Pascal. First we will convert our external static pressure value from Pascal to water gauge. 
and we have the formula if we divide the pascal by 250 then we can convert it to inch water gauge so we will divide 500 by 250 then we will get the external static pressure equal to 2 inch water gauge as our AHU is draw through type and for draw through type you need to calculate the value H we have this formula H is equal to units external static pressure in water gauge plus 1 as external static pressure in water gauge we have 2 plus 1 so h equal to 3 inch and to calculate the height j we have this formula j equal to h by 2 h equal to 3 so 3 by 2 equal to 1.5 inch for blow through type unit before fan then cooling coil then cold air coming out for blow through type unit we have the value for h we always take 1 in and the height j we take equal to the units external static pressure in water gauge if we have an ac having external static pressure to inch water gauge so for its strap we will take the h equal to 1 inch and the height for j will take equal to 2 inch that is equal to the units external static pressure in water gauge so it is very simple to calculate the height of p-tray for any AC unit if we have draw through type unit we have coil first then fan supplying direct cold air then H will be equal to the external static pressure of the AC unit plus 1 we have 2 inch water gauge external static pressure then we will add 1 to it so the H will be equal to 3 and j will be half of it that will be 1.5 if ac unit is blow through type that is the fan first then it supplying cold air through the cooling coil then for it we take h equal to always 1 inch and the height for j we take equal to the units external static pressure in water gauge 